I did promise that I was going to take a look at the three new war concept arts revealed during Digital Extreme and the Princess Margaret's Trust's cure, Quest to Cure Cancer campaign when they were released. I've held off until all three are released for a handful of different reasons. Mainly because I want to look at all three before I assume anything about this. But the first one, if we take a closer look, I mean, you can see the raked sands at the bottom, so it's kind of a zen garden. And, yeah, the fact that you have grass glow glowing, eh, growing up these towers is kind of weird and wonderful. And I don't know where this dead tree came from that's kind of sitting in the middle. Because it, there's nowhere for it to have come from here. There is bones hanging from trees. It all looks really nice. Just as concept art. I mean, this has to be a new area. Because there's an underneath here and an upstairs. And you've got stairs over to the left. A garden area over to the left. And I can't remember what I was looking at just before. Yeah. It's this that got me. Is that a bone? Or is that some kind of Arokan technology? Or maybe sentient technology? Just sitting off to the side here. <laughs> I could be reading way too much into this. It could be absolutely nothing. But out of this whole picture, there's a light down at the bottom. You can barely see outside because of light. You have... Well... People are going to disagree with me on this one, but that is a Grenier helmet. As is the one over to the right. It looks like a Grenier helmet. There is bones everywhere. The down tree to me still makes no sense because it hasn't come out of the sand because there's no hole where it's come from, unless it's been dug up from over here, in which case that is a possibility. And... You can just guess as to what it is and where it is, but it was this one thing that seems to be just more detailed drawn than anything else in here. And my eyes went straight to it as why is this in such detail than anything else in here. Then there was the second picture that everybody that turned around and mentioned this made me laugh. Because during this... Obviously, you have the guys to the right that are compared to the size of them during the event. And even the missions they are currently in, in Real Jack, they are huge. Absolutely huge. You have little, I want to say, crashed ships. What looks like sentient energy flowing into the lake. The lake's kind of messed up because there is something missing from there. There is a giant thing. It's actually knocked over if you look at it. The thing that stands in the middle of the lake has been knocked over. The hills are on fire from the ship coming in. And I'm assuming that's what these waves are meant to represent. And I want to say the electrical storms. The ship entering the atmosphere that looks like it set the planes on fire. And there's another one of those ships in the background. Points to those who can remember the name of them. Because I was going, had it written down as something else and I'm 100% sure it's wrong. So I'm just not going to say it. <laughs> because it, I'm pretty sure I've got it all wrong. And everybody keeps telling me, Cetus has been destroyed. For this, I will have to jump in the game. Which is going to suck, but it has to be done. Cetus has been destroyed. Yes, you come out of Cetus through this doorway here and... Okay, anybody else see a face in the, right there? Or am I just imagining that? And you know what? I'm not going into game to find this because... Oh look! Anybody else remember this tower that basically stands behind Cetus? The opening sequence, they are chopping this down. The first time you go to Cetus, you can see them kind of chopping this thing down. It is standing behind it. If this big sentient ship here has in fact crashed directly into Cetus, why is the tower still standing in front of it? I think more than likely what has happened here is the ship has landed around it. Yes, that means a huge chunk of Cetus might have been affected, but this, sh this tower stands out in the water. So no, Cetus 
could still be standing. What you can tell here is this looks like it is on board one of the the sentient ships, but at the same time, that better not be another Cephalon in the middle. I think with Samaris we had quite enough, but it could be. It's possible. But is this, in fact? Because if you look at it, there is something else that is very, very familiar here. You may notice something very similar here as to what this may, in fact, be. Well, it's Fortuna, and everything is pretty much exactly the same, down to Rude Zood on the right, Ticker's little lift on the left, the rocks. There is that, I want to say, podium tower obelite looking thing that's sitting here, and everything else, change-wise, seems to be, well, up there, which we'll take a little look up, and you can see these two of way too far apart to once upon a time have lined up but it's all the way up here that things seem to have changed and it's not like there's anything in here that even resembles anything similar to what is in that picture so it's not like Fortuna has been upgraded maybe it has or maybe it's just a different version remember that there is the other Fortuna that you have to take on before, is it the Orb Mother? But you can see it looks like the two parts kind of meet up and it has this big sentient bit in the middle, meaning that maybe there may be a new f sentient based town, but at the same time that means this probably isn't sentient based. It has the imagery, but you'll notice, when, when I say imagery I mean the stuff on the rocks on the left and the balcony on the right, yeah, it's also the wrong colour. The sentients tend to be red. As was proven in the second picture, most of their stuff is red. This is orange. I really want to go out on a limb here and say this is possibly more related to Teshin's side of the storyline. Because during the whole reveal for Tenocon 2000, or Tenno Live 2021, they did show that you will be can be playing. I'm saying can because, you know, everything's subject to change. As the Grenier, as the Corpus, and as Teshin. You will be controlling Teshin. Which means it is possible. This is more of what Fortuna was originally meant to be. Even though there is the whole lore and everything else behind the fact that Fortuna is Corpus based. Well, you ha also have to remember the Corpus, the Grenier... The kind of scavenged Orokan technologies, so there's a possibility Fortuna was originally an Orokan outpost and it was converted for the Corpus to use. And this is what Fortuna was supposed to be like. Meaning that we already know that part of this is going to take place in Cetus, because we've already talked about the tower in the background and the fact that Cetus is right there, but this is on the plains. They showed that you will be playing as the Grenier on the plains because it's Venus where Fortuna is. So this is nothing more than assumptions and guesses at this point, but that is definitely a different version of Fortuna. And we know that there is at least two of these already on the Orb Vallis. That would mean finding a third one wouldn't be so far-fetched, and, well, it looks like we may be visiting a third Fortuna-style city, town, whatever it is actually referred to as. Which means, hopefully, it's also going to take place in the Ovalis, which possibly means it could also take place on Deimos. I want to say this is more Oroken based remembering that the original war was between the sentient and the Orokan, the old war, but then again it was also between the Orokan and the Grenier and the... yeah. I don't go law-wise because every time I do I'm massively wrong anyway, but it was between the Orokan and the sentient, so it would make sense for the Orokans to have outposts. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.